Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Sheikh Saleh bin Fuzan hafizahullah ta'ala mentioned some very, very beneficial uh, points regarding Ahlul Iman, the people of faith, the believers, and their methodology. And that they command to the good and forbid the evil. The Sheikh said, وقال الشيخ حفظ الله تعالى ومن أعظم الأمر بمعروف ونهي عن المنكر نهي عن التبديع والتفسيق والتكفير بغير الحق فهم ينهون عن ذلك ويحذرون منه ويحذرون منه وشغلهم شاغل هو عمل الصالح يأمرون به ويفعلونه ويتفقهون فيه هذا عملهم ويقيمون الصلاة ويؤتون الزكاة ينفعون أنفسهم وينفعون غيرهم ويطيعون الله ورسوله. The Sheikh said, حفظ الله تعالى, he said, and from the greatest ways of commanding to the good and forbidding the evil, he said, is to prohibit from Declaring others to be innovators or mubtidi'een and declaring others to be wicked people or wicked sinners and from declaring other people to be kafirs, disbelievers in Allah without the right to do so. بِغَيْرِ haq, Without the conditions for it. Then he said, then they prohibit from all of this. He's talking about Ahl Iman, the people of faith. They prohibit from these characteristics. And they warn against those characteristics. And, they're, and they busy themselves with righteous deeds. And commanding to righteous deeds. And doing righteous deeds. And understanding, gaining knowledge. And gaining understanding of it. By seeking علم, knowledge, علم نافع. He said, this is their, this is what they do. This is the deed, deeds of Ahli Iman. This is what they do and they busy themselves with. And then he used the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Tawbah, وَيُقِمُونَ الصَّلَاةِ وَيُقْتُونَ الزَّكَاةِ And that they establish the prayer and they pay the alms tax. And the shaykh said that they benefit themselves. And they benefit other than them by doing this. And then he said, and then he used also where the state, statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيُتِعُونَ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولُهُ And then they are obedient to Allah and His Messenger. Alayhi salatu wa salam. Then the shaykh went on to say, وَمَنْ أَعْظُمَ الطَّاعَةِ وَمَنْ أَعْظُمَ الطَّاعَةِ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ أنهم يحثون على اجتماع على كتاب الله تعالى وسنة رسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى تأليف وتعاخي في الله لأن المؤمنين جعلهم الله إخوة كما قال وأصبحت بنعمته إخوانا وقال وإنما المؤمن إنما المؤمنون إخوة فأخوة الإيمان عندهم أوفق من أخوة النسل فهم يحافظون على هذه الأخوة أخوة وهذا منهج أهل إيمان The Sheikh went on to say حفظ الله تعالى He said He said and from the greatest ways in which you can be obedient to Allah and His Messenger is the greatest ways that they are obedient to Allah and His Messenger is that they and here they, um, they urge the people and exhort the people to come together by the book of Allah the Almighty and the sunnah of his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that they love and they become brothers for Allah. And that the believers, Allah has made them brothers. As Allah says, then... You have become, by my favor, 
by, by, by his favor, brothers. And then another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily the, the believers are brothers. Then the shaykh went on to say, he said that the brotherhood of Iman with them is stronger than the brotherhood of uh, blood of kinship. And he said that the people of Iman, that they, they uh, guard this brotherhood. And that this is the minhaj, the methodology of Ahl Iman. The Shaykh said, have a minhaj Ahl Iman. This is the methodology of Ahl Iman. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us to be on the minhaj of Ahl Iman. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabi and Muhammad.